Hello. Hello guys, if you are new, welcome to the channel. And if you don't know, subscribe. The button is down here in red. And like this video. Thank you. And if you're a return subscriber, warm welcome. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and have my daughter on this video because my daughter also has sister locks. Um, she's had them a little bit longer than me. And we do get questions every so often about her journey and how it's going. So I'm going to do a little interview with her at the start. Oh, oh, are you already showing us your locks? Nice and slow. Wonderful. So these are my daughter's um, sister locks. How long have you had them, Bum Bums? Almost up to three years. In September th this week. Um, this year. Bit this year. Um, it'll be three weeks, but at the moment three years. it's um, three years. Why not give them three weeks? It'll be three years, um, but at the moment it is two years. Okay. And is your eye okay? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. You're all right. Okay. All right. So, yep, yeah, my daughter has had them for coming up three years. And do you enjoy having sister locks? Yep. Yeah. You do? What do you enjoy about having them? My mum doesn't have to come out and I can do style people. Do you do styles though? That's the question. Do you still style your locks? Sometimes. Not all the time. Yeah. Because I'm the person who you can call locks down always. Locks down always? Yeah. We don't really talk about locks anymore, do we? You don't talk about them much. My daughter's kind of over it, I think. The novelty has worn off. In fact, I'm not even sure she was ever really that interested. And what about have you what about your hair? Do you enjoy so you enjoy it not being combed? You enjoy being able to do styles? Is there anything you don't like about having sister locks? No. Come closer so we can see. No, I don't. There's nothing that you don't like. Nothing that I dislike. Is there anyone else at your school who's got sister locks? Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I don't know. Make you feel a bit different? Kind of. In a good way or a bad way? or? In a good way. Oh, okay. You're like you're unique or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. Okay. Anything else that you want to share with anybody about your mm. locks or... Wait, can I say about school? Yeah. Um, there's a friend in my class called Ada, and she has black hair. So it's and um, this boy called Jaden. Um, they both have black hair, so it's kind of relatable to my hair because my hair is black. Okay. But most people's hair is blonde in my class. So Jada and Jada and Jaden. Sorry, Jaden and Ada are black children. They've yeah. got yeah, they got the same type of hair as you, except they haven't got sister locks. Yeah. Yeah. They just got the cut the right the colour. Yeah, the same texture. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Anything else you want to tell us, Madame? Mm, don't think so. So comment down in the but wait. I have one more thing to say. Comment down below in the comments if you want to see another video and click that notif notif notification so that um, you don't miss any of our videos. Thank you, Bye. darling. Thank you, sweetheart. I will see you guys in another video. That was lovely. Chapter two of mummy. Chapter two of mummy. Thank you. So, yeah, it's been a long, long time. I don't even know when I last did a video, but I thought I've got to do one. I'm so predictable. I always do. I, I always. All my videos have been done after a retie. That's when I seem to get inspiration and remember that I've got sister locks. Um, so my daughter's had her locks for years. We've got different hair textures. Um, her locks are very uniform. She doesn't have the humpy bumpy. We don't band and braid her hair anymore. Uh, we use the Al Mercado shampoo um we do use uh sometimes we use conditioner in her locks or we use the almacado there's a, a conditioning uh, moisturizing shampoo for more mature locks so occasionally we'll use that if her hair's 
feeling like it needs something. Um, in terms of like what we use on my daughter's hair to keep it moisturised, because our hair does need moisture, we use um, rose water's okay on my daughter's hair sparingly. If we use it too much, it can get crunchy. Um, so we use rose water. I also use um, normal water with essential oil. And that works quite well. And then in terms of our scalp, occasionally I will grease that with a carrier oil that's blended with some essential oils like rosemary, lemongrass, things like that. Um, so yeah, it's it's it. Her journey is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sorry, I am filming, guys. I don't know how to edit that out. I'm not going to edit that out. This is my real life. It happens all the time when I'm filming. So not that I film a lot. Um, so yeah, my daughter's hair is really nice and easy to maintain. I wash her hair every couple of weeks. Um, she swims um, a couple of times a week. So it's just a very easy, nice hairstyle to maintain for a child. She enjoys it. Her hair has grown tremendously in the time that she's had sister locks. Um, and that was one of the reasons I got them as well. I knew that she wanted to have longer hair um, and all of that kind of stuff. So easy peasy journey works really well. Mine, I'm coming up to three years in December. So I'm just a little bit behind my daughter. Um, in terms of my locks kind of a different journey to my daughter's so mine need very little moisture i do very little the only time i do anything is after a retie and um because it gets dry after a retie i was never a fan of rose water but i have to say i've started to realize the benefits of rose water sparingly um sparingly on my scalp as well i think my hair still prefers aloe and i still use aloe as a pre-poo aloe gel but I've started to notice the benefits of um, of rose water. So I probably use it like once every 10 days, if that, if that. Whereas with my daughters, I'd probably use it once every couple of, no, maybe once every four days. I also kind of, um, when I use it, I will rub some oil into my daughter's scalp. As I said, my hair doesn't really need any oil. Um, I wash my locks every couple of weeks now, a lot less frequently than I used to do it um they are locked as well they are locked in for the most part i would say i've still got the curly ends but um i would say my locks are pretty much locked or locking they're thereabouts i still band and braid um i've started to get some horrible build up at the front i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that and i don't know why it's very annoying i'm gonna have to do something about it um I'm still on my retie so I went today and it was a retie that was I was at six weeks and it was just horrendous my consultant thought I'd had a really big growth spurt and I was like no this is actually quite normal it's just that we're doing it at six weeks instead of four or five I don't want to do that again it's it, it gets too messy so and too out of hand so I think we'll get back to doing five weeks as a maximum for me I'm still between four and five weeks just in line with my kind of growth cycle my daughter is between five and six weeks um that seems to be the time to do to do the reties and um and i still retie my daughter's hair we the back row of her locks is going to be split in two because they've got quite thick so my consultant is going to split those out she sees my daughter every once no is it twice a year maybe but otherwise i maintain my daughter's locks uh I'm literally here just to show you what I'm working with. I wish I could tell you that I do stuff like I do styles and stuff like in my imagination I do styles but I do nothing. I do nothing and you know what if I'm really honest with you I think that that is helpful. I think I don't think there's anything wrong with styling your sister locks. A lot of people get sister locks in order that they can style them you know that's what that's what the grid and everything is there for. Um, but I think for me personally, or maybe I've just told myself this, I think for me personally, my looks are pretty content just being left alone. It seems to work for me. Um, nothing eventful or exciting to share. Nothing, yeah, nothing else. The grid is still intact, but it would be because I've been going to the same consultant for the entire time. And, you know, it's I've just come from a retire as well, so it would... It would be looking fresh. In terms of growth, I think we've had plenty of growth. Um, yeah. I don't know what else.
else to share so i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna let you go yeah nothing in particular to share except that they've got thicker that's the other thing i'd say they've got thicker but i like that i can't complain there'll be people watching this thinking they're not thick i think they've got a bit thicker but that's it thank you for watching comments questions anything that i can elaborate on or share always happy to do so um yeah the good the bad and the ugly with me try not to hide any of it yeah all right take care till next time bye bye